The film opens with Laura reviewing potential candidates for a surrogate through a video, as she cannot conceive. Anna Walsh is one of the candidates. The interviewer asks challenging questions that Laura finds displeasing. During the interview, Laura's husband, John Taylor, arrives, and Peter Kay introduces Anna to John. Laura feels positive about Anna, but abruptly stops the interview, expressing her frustration with the interviewer to John. The next day, John is at work when Martin and Todd visit him. Martin informs John that Todd will be assisting him with a case. Meanwhile, Laura calls John to tell him she is with Anna and strongly approves of her. Later that night, John and Laura discuss the situation in their bedroom. Laura informs John that she has invited Anna and her fiance over for dinner. The following day, the Taylors host a dinner with Anna and her fiance, Mike. The conversation flows and Mike is polite. Laura's excitement about the possibility of having a child is evident. After some discussion, Mike allows them to smoke somewhere. While outside, John and Mike's conversation takes a different tone. Raising suspicions about Mike's true intentions, John asks Mike how comfortable he and Anna are with the surrogacy, and Mike reassures him that they are fully committed. Inside, Laura shares with Anna how deeply they desire a child, explaining their many unsuccessful attempts. After dinner, Laura urges John to share his conversation with Mike. John expresses his dislike for Mike's personality, having observed some concerning behavior, and comments about housewives while they were smoking. However, Laura chooses to view Mike's words positively. Eventually, Anna undergoes the embryo transfer and successfully becomes pregnant. In the meantime, Laura spends time in the room they have prepared for their future child. She feels a sense of unease due to the gravity of the situation. Laura shares with John her dreams of seeing him play with their child in that room. John consistently reassures her, expressing confidence that they will soon have a family. As John leaves court, Laura calls with the joyous news that they are expecting a baby. At home, he embraces Laura with overwhelming joy, calling her mommy, and she responds, hey daddy. Anna descends the stairs, and John shares his delight with her. During a meeting, Anna tells John she had called Laura, who asked John to pick her up. While driving, he excitedly tells Anna about the baby. At home, Mike appears with his barking dog. John reminds him about the pickup, though Mike, looking aggressive, pretends to be fine. That night, John learns from Laura that Anna hasn't called her. Suddenly, Laura's phone rings with urgent news about Anna. They rush to find Anna injured and bloody, kicked by Mike. John anxiously asks if the baby is okay, and Anna reassures him. Anna asks the police if they will arrest Mike, but they explain they can only do so if he tries to harm her again. The officer asks if Anna has somewhere to stay. John quickly offers their home. John brought Anna home and then returned to the police station to confront Mike, making it clear he would face consequences and not be allowed near Anna unless punished. John also mentioned arranging money if Mike stayed away after his 10-day punishment. When John returned, Laura said Anna was sleeping in the guest house and noted Anna's beauty. John flirted with Laura, and they ended up making love, unaware Anna saw them. The next morning, John and Laura told Anna she could stay with them, take time off work, and they would cover her salary and provide a car. Anna was grateful and hugged them. As John and Laura prepared for an associate dinner, they discussed Anna's situation and Mike's. That evening, Anna complimented John's outfit and praised Laura's appearance. They told Anna to take care of herself and assured her they'd be back by midnight. While they were out, Anna showered, explored the house, admired Laura's belongings, and enjoyed some free time. The next morning, John was making coffee when he noticed Anna asleep in the living room. She woke up and explained she had fallen asleep watching TV. She asked for a cup of coffee, reminding him her doctor allowed one cup a day. As they chatted, Anna invited John to feel the baby move, guiding his hand to her abdomen. John felt a bit awkward. John thanked Anna, expressing their gratitude and acknowledging they couldn't do this without her. He mentioned an upcoming annual charity event at their house and invited her to join them. Anna accepted enthusiastically. Unexpectedly, Anna encountered Mike, who reminded her that legally, the baby belonged to both of them and they could change their minds at any time. He suggested Anna threaten John and Laura by changing her mind to extort money. Although Anna hesitated, saying John and Laura had been good to her, Mike became aggressive, hurting her to force compliance. Ultimately, Anna agreed to do whatever Mike wanted. At the annual charity event, Todd mentioned to John that he liked Anna and had spoken with her earlier. John dismissed Todd's interest, pointing out that Anna was only 21. Todd countered, saying she was legally an adult. Meanwhile, Laura was on stage addressing the guests about the event's purpose. She noticed Anna wearing one of her dresses and became angry. 
She quickly wrapped up her speech and then confronted Anna about wearing her clothes without permission. Anna explained that the dress Laura had given her didn't fit, and since Laura was busy, she hadn't asked to wear another one. After the party ended, John closed the door and headed to his room, but heard music coming from the living room. He found Anna there, listening to music. She asked where Laura was, and John explained that she had left an hour earlier to catch a flight. Anna began complimenting John effusively, even kissing him on the cheek, before saying she would take a shower before bed. In the middle of the night, John was awakened by knocking sounds coming from the guest house due to the heavy rain. As he checked outside, he saw Anna naked. Later, while John was looking for a note from Laura, Anna asked when Laura would return. John replied, she would be back on Tuesday. Anna's interest in John was evident. When John mentioned Todd's interest, Anna dismissed it, stating she preferred older men and had only dated Mike among younger guys. John mentioned he had an important deposition and might be late. That night, Laura informed John she would be delayed another day for Chef False, which John reluctantly accepted. The next day, while on a call with Laura about her potential CEO position, John received a seductive video from Anna. Distracted but supportive of Laura, he ended the call. John texted Anna to stop, but she sent another inappropriate video. That evening, John returned home, visibly upset. He found Anna dancing again, and sternly warned her that he was married and her behavior was unacceptable. She apologized and said she would leave. However, John called her back to calm her down, just as Laura unexpectedly walked in. Anna quickly dressed and greeted Laura. Later, while Anna was pouring herself a drink, Mike suddenly appeared and slapped her taunting her. Anna pleaded with him to stop, explaining she was about to call him. Mike demanded she extort money from John and Laura, threatening to expose their arrangement as a scam if she refused. Anna declined, but Mike raised his hand to hit her again. He ordered her to ask for the money, or they would flee to Arizona to make $15,000 from another surrogacy scheme. He warned that if she didn't comply, he would return to expose the scam, leaving her to face the consequences. Meanwhile, Mike was at a bar, drinking heavily. When he returned home, he listened to a voice memo, unaware of Anna silently approaching him from behind. Anna stabbed Mike with a knife, pushed his body down the stairs and killed him. At the hospital, Anna was undergoing a medical test. John attempted to call Laura but couldn't reach her. The doctor informed John that the baby was a boy. Just then, Laura called, and John excitedly shared the news with her. Later, at the office, Anna called John, suggesting they go somewhere together. John, irritated, refused, and Anna hung up. Determined, she called again and asked to be connected to John Taylor. Standing nearby, John quickly denied the call. Anna persisted, calling John's phone and eventually arriving at his office with a bottle of alcohol in hand. Their conversation grew heated, drawing the attention of Todd and other colleagues. John took Anna back home, but she warned him that she could leave and take the child with her. Frustrated, John opened the door and told her she could leave, despite the pain it would cause both him and Laura. John reaches out to his friend Roland, asking for information about a man named Mike Mitchell. The following day, John's boss summons him and accuses him of using his email for sensitive content without permission. The boss learned from Todd that a woman at a charity event, unrelated to John, was involved. John doesn't lie, but his boss removes him from the case, assigning it to Todd instead. Meanwhile, Roland provides John with Mike Mitchell's history and information about Anna. He reveals that Anna's parents abandoned her at three, and she was taken in by another family. Tragically, she killed her foster father when he tried to assault her. Roland warns John to be cautious around her. That night, John wakes up and finds Anna in his office. She confesses her feelings for him and attempts to kiss him. John then notices she has a pair of scissors. He calms her by gently touching her hand and tells her he needs to return to bed which prompts her to leave. Suddenly, Anna starts shouting and pointing at John. At that moment, the police and Laura arrive. Anna accuses John of professing his love and being unfaithful. Laura explains to the officer that the baby Anna is carrying belongs to them and leaves. Feeling betrayed, Laura lashes out at John. He reassures her that he never lied but didn't want to hurt her. Laura breaks down in tears and John hugs her, trying to console her. The following day, they visited Peter Kay to discuss taking custody of the baby. Peter explained that legally, the mother has rights since the baby is developing in her womb. While John and Laura were talking, Roland informed them that Dr. Park received a notification from Mexico stating that Anna had purchased Cytotec. He warned them that if Anna took it, it could either induce labor or terminate the pregnancy. Suddenly, Anna called John but ended the call abruptly without revealing her location. Roland and Laura advised John to reassure Anna of his love for her and his intention to care for the child. 
Later, Laura suggested that John take Anna to the lake house and spend time with her there. When John approached Anna, he tried to hold her hand, but she pulled away. He kissed her and took her to the lake house. Anna seemed to like the house. John hid a photo of Laura and told Anna that Laura disliked the house and he was considering selling it. John then visited Laura, who was painting a wall for the baby's arrival. She confessed she hadn't been able to sleep and he sorrowfully explained that he told Anna he needed to pick up some documents. Laura, filled with sadness, hugged him. Meanwhile, Anna, witnessing the hug, texted John, claiming she was having contractions and went to St. Agnes Hospital. John rushed to the hospital, unaware Anna's real intention was to harm Laura. At home, Laura heard noises but dismissed them. When she entered the baby's room, she found everything destroyed and her cat dead. Overcome with grief, she started crying. Suddenly, Anna, in labor, attacked Laura from behind. John arrived at the hospital but couldn't find Anna's name on the patient list. Roland joined him in the search, but they found nothing. They then went to Mike's house and discovered his decomposed body. Panicked, John called Laura but got no response. Later, Laura woke up in the hospital, asking about the baby. John informed her they hadn't found Anna. At that moment, Roland called to say Anna had given birth to a healthy baby, but had disappeared. Suspecting she might be at the lake house, John and Laura headed there. Upon arrival, John instructed Laura to stay in the car while he searched the house. He found Anna sleeping with the baby and quietly tried to take the child. Anna woke up and attacked him, but John overpowered her and took the baby to the car. Anna, now armed with a gun, tried to shoot them, but missed. Laura drove the car and struck Anna near the lake house, killing her. The story concluded with the police arriving at the lake house and John comforting Laura, assuring her that everything would be all right. And with that, the movie ends. We hope you enjoyed our video. Watch the next recaps on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe for more amazing recaps. See you in the next one.